voting is about to begin, but many registered voters can't find their names on the electoral roll. The UN peacekeeping mission MINUSMA is trying to help them. The organizing and security of this election is the task of Malian authorities. In MINUSMA, we provide support such as the transportation of logistical material and personnel as well as government officials, especially to Mopti and the north where access is difficult. We also sensitize the public through radio and other media outlets to the importance of voting. It's a daunting task. Less than half the eight and a half million registered voters had received their election cards by last week. That's just one of the many challenges facing election organizers. Insecurity is another. The government has little influence in large remote areas of northern and central Mali. Armed groups linked to Al-Qaeda have threatened to disrupt any electoral activities there. Security is being ramped up in the capital, Bamako. The government says it has mobilized more than 30,000 personnel to maintain security at polling stations. Special forces organize daily patrols and exercises such as this one to raise the state of readiness as the countdown towards election day begins. We have provided resources to our regional governors to ensure the safe distribution of voter cards and polling centers. We guarantee the security of this process with the help of our partners in Minusa and French operation Bukan, as well as armed movements. Voters have a choice of 24 candidates, including President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, who is seeking re-election. He won by a landslide in the last election five years ago. Since then, he's lost much support. His opponents say he has failed to restore stability and improve the livelihood of Malians. Among his long list of rivals, opinion polls say the main one is former finance minister Sumaila Sisi. This is the first time in Mali when opinion polls have shown a very tight race between the incumbent president and the opposition leader. By the looks of it, the current president may not have much luck. Five years in power led to grave insecurity, deep social crises, the army hasn't been restructured as promised, and corruption levels are unprecedented. The stakes are high for Mali in this election, with some saying it could be the last chance for the country to step back from the brink of more violence, poverty and unemployment. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Bamako.